A lot of people think of Denver Botanic Gardens and they think of the plants, of course. That's the primary purpose uh, for the institution. But they are framed, they are supported by an incredible legacy of architecture that we not only have preserved, but we've been inspired by with new construction. They really set the stage for the improvement of gardens and the structure of the gardens through time, but also placeholders for significant projects like the Science Pyramid and eventually Frere Newman Center as the capstone to that master plan development. The materiality of the Frere Newman Center is a reflection of all the history of the York Street site. The materials, the sandstone, the wood, the uh, dark gray panels, uh, the structures themselves, they're reminiscent of all the other work that has come before, which again I think is such a respectful way of looking at new architecture is incorporating the story of older architecture. Those details in the conservatory, those are things that really inspired the architecture of the Frere Newman Center through its skylights, through its windows towards the front uh, porch, the front entryway, all those types of things that help um, tie the new and the old together. You know, the Betcher Memorial Center has been the gathering place for indoor experiences at the gardens for a long time. The basement though, I guess it's the garden level, um, it, it really needed a lot of help. Um, we had our old labs in a former storage closet, and then we had classrooms that, I always felt like when we sent people to a class down there, we had to leave a trail of breadcrumbs or something. So to have that refreshed into a kid's zone, um, you did a brilliant job with that. The thing that we uncovered as new participants here at the gardens uh, was understanding the fantastic work that was happening in these research labs and the herbarium and being able to take that space out of the garden level basement and put it front and center in the new building uh, was one of the biggest wins of the en entire project in my opinion. We were able to uncover a lot of that, uh, the original detail and original concrete work which was just fabulous that had been covered over through the years and so really putting the right program in the right places in both the old uh, sections of the project and the new sections of the project really unlocked a lot of opportunities. Preservation work is so critical at Denver Botanic Gardens for so many reasons. That's one of the things that Dana Crawford has taught all of us is the lesson of history informs the future and if we forget our history we're doomed to have a worse future, I'm certain of it. So um, it's an honor to be the, the stewards of great architecture as well as great plants.